All right, it's been a minute. Hey, what's up guys, it's Jordan, and I am back with a, another video. So, if you can't tell, a lot of changes have happened recently. Um, it's been, God, it's had to have been like a month and a half, maybe even two months since I've uploaded a video. Um, I've just had a lot of things going on. So I wanted to make this video to kind of address like where I've been, what's been going on, all the changes. So yes, by the title you read correctly, I quit my job and I moved. Um, now the title was a little misleading because it makes it sound like I moved like, you know, states or countries, <laughs> but I just moved apartments. Um, I moved to a new apartment in Dallas um, and I am loving it here. When I first moved in, um, I did have an issue with a neighbor again. <laughs> I feel like that's just the theme of my life, but I had a neighbor who would play like his bass really loud until like, I'm not even kidding, one morning it was nine o'clock in the morning is when it stopped and I just was like in bed crying. I couldn't go to sleep, it was just terrible, but um, I made a complaint to the apartment complex and uh, they haven't done it since, so it's been great. Um, <laughs> I live in pretty much the heart of Uptown now. I'm in a studio. Um, the dogs seem to love it. I can't hear everything everyone's doing anymore. Um, so yeah, that's great. I don't have anybody in my business. So, and my apartment complex is much safer. It's much, it has a lot better like security. It's harder to get into, stuff like that. So I am loving it. I'm still not fully done unpacking, even though I've been here for a minute, um, as you can see with the box in the background. Um, I haven't built my bookshelf yet. And I haven't hung up my musical instruments, but everything else is pretty much done, to be honest. I'm just still trying to find places to put everything uh, because I have a lot of crap. So yeah, that's my moving. And then probably most importantly, I quit my job. <laughs> um, as you may know, and I, as I complained about it before, I really hated my old job. Um, I loved what I did, but the company that I worked for um, at least in the division that I was working in it was just like so fucked like um it was a really toxic work environment we had a boss who I mean maybe like one of the worst people I've ever met in my entire life like literally like it just not for me not for a lot of people they've been losing a lot of employees lately so we'll see what happens with that um, but yeah, I was just sad all the time. They cut our incentives, so I wasn't making any money. I was stressed, depressed, not blessed. Um, you know, and I finally had had too many emotional breakdowns, and I was like, you know what? This isn't healthy for me. I kept staying because I'm a loyal ass bitch, and I was like, maybe it'll get better, maybe it'll get better, maybe it'll get better, just like a bad relationship, and it never did. So finally, I was like, you know what? I've got to get out. Because Anthony was like, Jordan, like, get out. Like, you need to leave. Like, blah, blah. He's been saying that for like a year, okay? And I was like, maybe it'll get better. No, it'll be fine, blah, blah. No, bitch. It never got better. It just got worse. So um, finally, I just asked one of my, if you don't know what I did before, I was, a I was in liquor sales. I was a liquor rep, which, yeah, sounds like the best job ever. And it was dope. I was really good at my job. I was passionate about the industry. But like I said, the division, the company that I worked for, um, and the division of spirits had just taken a whole, a whole haul. Like just to give you a little bit of perspective, like eight people had gone and complained about this woman. And then like two months later, they made her like head of everything. So like, where does that make sense? Show me how I don't get it anyway. Yeah. You really care about your employees for sure. Um, so they also made me, so I got exposed to the coronavirus. Um, and I told them and they made me mandatory quarantine for two weeks even though I got a negative test They didn't let me come back to work for two weeks and they took it out of my um, PTO So I was out of PTO which actually meant that when I quit I was negative PTO hours So I owed them money um, Which was great considering it was a mandatory that they made me do even though I was negative It makes no fucking sense and then after that there was like five of us that did that they, all the managers realized, oh snap, that sucks. So whenever somebody else had to get tested, they just wouldn't tell HR. They were like, I'm just gonna give you stuff to do at home. I'm not gonna tell HR. So why the fuck? Anyway, yeah, that's the tea. 
Um, so yeah, I finally was at one of my bars and I was talking to my, one of my bar managers and I was just like, hey, you know, do your servers and bartenders make money? And they were like, yeah, they make really good money. Why, do you know somebody? I was like, yeah, me. So I started training like two days later and now I'm working there. I made my paycheck last week. Like I made my old paycheck last week. That's insane. Um, obviously it's not going to be like that all the time. There's obviously some stress with it's, you know, going back into the service industry and I only intend on being there for a couple of months. I would love to potentially get another liquor job. Um, that's just an industry that I'm passionate about and that I like, obviously I like doing social media and stuff like that, but my work background unfortunately isn't in social media. So landing a marketing or social media job is not realistic, I guess. Um, I'm going to apply for things obviously, but um, I liked being in the liquor industry and a lot of supplier jobs are going to open up in January And so that's kind of where I'm looking for and crossing my fingers for um, but currently I am back behind the bar Bartending but making a lot of money. I work with a really cool set of people I mean there are a couple people that it's like eh, but you know that you get that anywhere um, stress wise, you know where I work like obviously it's service industry So things can be a little hectic and people can be like mouthy or whatever But so when I get stressed, it's more like up here level stress just like anger and just like I don't understand But it's not like in my body like when I was at this old job like my stress is in my body Everyone I knew was depressed at that job and people were like everybody. Yes, Okay, fine. Maybe not everyone, but almost everyone that I knew that was in the spirits division except for I can think of two people hated their fucking life. Hated it. And the ones that everybody thought didn't, co hated it, but no one knew they would just call me and complain to me. So I knew that everybody hated their lives. And it sucked. And like, I felt just, I was just this overwhelming, just like heaviness in my heart and like body. And like, I would have mental breakdowns about not having any money. And I mean, I was on a budget, like budget, like $40 on groceries budget like if a boat a bill can, went through that I forgot about like depleted I didn't get to do anything for fun ever I never like really got to spend anything on myself like I which sucks because the way that I cope with things is I buy stuff so I just I was just like this constant wall and you know, I worked for people that would be like, well, if you can't do this, that's embarrassing. And like, I was told to stop standing up for myself. Like they would target people. It was very like, very big on favoritism and just, God, just such a toxic work environment. Just so toxic. I had a manager, my most recent manager was amazing. Um, he, I know, I knew him. And then the girl that was, the like the other team manager she was amazing but the manager that i had before literally made fun of me like one of my youtube videos like would talk down to me all the time like just and granted like this woman was not smart like i've had people from other divisions be like yeah how'd she get that job inadequate and i'm like i don't know i'm just here trying to li i'm just here chilling but yeah um so i've been working at this new job probably for about a month maybe a month and a half now so I'm trying to still figure out my routine which is difficult because obviously I'm burning so many more calories now so I haven't been going to I haven't gone to the gym in like a month and a half I haven't been to yoga in like two months and that sucks and I really need to get back into it but like figuring out a routine and figuring out the hours of okay when is this gonna work and how can I get enough sleep but still incorporate health and lifestyle and fitness so today I went to Trader Joe's and I spent like 220 bucks yeah that haul is going to be coming soon this week and I'm trying to refocus on health because I let myself just kind of get used to the new job, get used to the new place or whatever and now I'm like okay it's time to start prioritizing our health and our mental health more. So I had um, therapy this morning, I'm going to look at my schedule and figure out when I can go to yoga this week, um, I'm trying to read again because I haven't read, I haven't read a full book in up to a month and a half two months so that's not good um i gotta finish this i have to get finished the good daughter like how am i still reading this bitch it's not that long um so yeah i'm trying to refocus but i wanted to make this video and just kind of be like yo 
This is where I've been, like my Instagram's been doo-doo. I have not put up any new um, content on Instagram. I haven't put up any new content on YouTube. And it's because I've just been so, like, thrown out of the mix with my new routine. So now I'm done with the excuses. I'm done, you know, trying to figure everything out. Actually, I'm still trying to figure everything out, but you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, so that's what's been going on. That's where I've been. Um, now that I'm not in corporate America anymore, I can make my uh, how to survive in a toxic work environment uh, video, which is going to be great because I'm going to be exposing the past three companies that I worked for. So that's going to be good. Keep an eye out for that one. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely in a better mental Sp like headspace than I was before you know I don't have a boss that's telling me I'm pathetic anymore or is just openly rude or shows up uh, to work events with a shirt that says the, fem the future is female on it but refuses to take bars out of my territory where I tell her the buyer is sending his reps unsolicited dick photos like tell me how that makes sense but it's fine you know, I have a really big problem with people like that, that like claim to be feminists and claim to be allies, but only for certain women. And we all know people like that. Like, it was very like, oh, you're pretty and smart and young and you stand up for yourself. Well, not you. Like, I'm not here for you. Actually, I'm going to put a target on your back. That's how it was. And so, I don't know. It's just very, I'm very glad to be where I'm at, making so much more money. I bought Vuv today, guys. I bought a bottle of Vuv champagne today, just because, and I'm not rich. Like, <laughs> I'm not like an influencer that like makes like millions of fucking dollars. Like, I worked 50 hours this week on my feet, like slinging drinks. And I was like, I deserve this bottle of Vuv. Like, fuck it, yeah, I do. So. And it's just nice to be able to like treat myself to stuff like I'm getting a massage this weekend and it's like Wow, like it's just nice to be able to do things for myself I took my savings account in a month from $700 to $2,100 like I'm finally able to put things in my savings account and not Overly stress and die about it anymore and that just feels amazing so like I said I wanted to make this video saying where I've been, explaining like the new apartment and stuff like that, the new job, because there's been a lot of changes. I got curtain bangs too, so I have new hair. Obviously I have a hat on so you can't see it, but I hope to do an apartment tour soon, um, maybe next week, uh, because hopefully, so Anthony's birthday's on Saturday, so I requested off Saturday and Sunday, so I work tomorrow, which is Tuesday, which is the day that this video is going up. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday are the days that I work this week. Normally I work, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I'm hoping that my manager keeps me off Monday, Tuesday. So that means I'm off four days in a row and I can just clean and film videos and do all that stuff. So yeah, guys, um, thanks so much for watching. Sorry about this long ass update. Um, but yeah, uh, stay tuned for more things that's going on. Um, Luna's got her diaper on. Can you see it? Poor Loon. I know it's dirty. There's shit everywhere. Um, she has she's on she's having her lady time right now. I need to get her spayed and I was gonna get her spayed this month and then That happened so you can't get them spayed whenever they're like on their time. So anyway, this is about to run out So, um, yeah, thanks for, so much if you like me if you like this video give me a thumbs up or hit subscribe I've got a Instagram called Jordan Gabrielle's where I'm an insta thought and you can be an insta thought too I have two podcasts both of which have been on hiatus, but I'm picking up again this week One's called Am I Crazy? It's a lifestyle kind of podcast where I just shoot the shit. And then Drop Dead Gorgeous. Gorgeous spelled G-O-R-E-G-E-O-U-S. Um, it's true crime and paranormal. I love you guys so much. See you later. Bye.